Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a rewind plan with me, and this is just a look back at my last one. I used a Stella Bow foiled kit, and it was her Pooh and Friends kit, and it turned out really cute with all the foiled bits. Um, this was the week that I was supposed to have a baby shower to go to, but that didn't happen. It happened this next week that we're going to plan, and a ton of other random events and really fun events and really scary events. <laughs> so this is going to definitely be a story time type plan with me. I am going to be using another Halloween kit, which I'm so excited about. And it is this one here from the Organizing Companion. She is no longer a shop, so I won't be able to link her. But this is her Darkest Nights um, kit. And I'm contemplating because, as you can see, the full boxes are a scene. And instead of doing like all of them at the top and then the bottom washi, I'm kind of thinking of doing all of these at the bottom and then like x name the bottom washi. Because I don't know, I'm just not thrilled by the bottom washi. And then I was thinking of doing like a strip of Simply Gilded washi at the top, like this purple one I thought would look really cool. So I'm going to play around with that idea while I'm laying everything down. So we have the full boxes. I might do this like scalloped washi over the top of them or something. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to play around with the idea. Um, and then there's also like headers at the tops of these. So we're going to see what happens. I think the idea is that like this goes at the bottom and then these go on top of it. And then like this goes on top of that to like make a no white space spread. Um, but that's just not going to happen <laughs> because, um, yeah. I just didn't get that far. Um, so let me see what happens here and then I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so there's all that, and I'm happy with how this looks. I'm all good with it. Um, let's do the sidebar real fast. So we have this box here, which I wish she had put, like, here in the spread instead of, like, making it the other half of the tree. But that's okay. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna do something different and line it up here. Up top instead of with the bottom line. I know a lot of people do this, but I don't, so <laughs> this is new. Um, because there's only one habit tracker, so I'm just gonna put this in there, like so. And I think, how do I wanna do this? We'll do two of these boxes. Is that how I did it the last time? Yeah. So let's do this one first for meals, which, is there a header? Probably not. So let's do the, I think I'm going to do this light purple vine washi, again from Simply Gilded, and put this in, because there is like the light purple in the scalloped washi, but... I don't know, I also have my black Simply Yielded Washi out, but I feel like there's a lot of dark elements in the kit already that we don't necessarily need to pull in more right this second. I feel like in the spread it'll be helpful because some of the boxes and stuff that are in the kit are lighter, so to break up those items it'll look nice to do the black. But... 
I think, right now. Let's do the trees for this one. Okay, so there's that, and I'm going to do one for uploads, even though I didn't upload last week, and one for dinners, and then, what do I want to put at the bottom? Oh, I know, I'll do a big strip of the black bows. That looks nice. All of the Simply Gilded Washi. <laughs> All right, so I'll probably fill this out using my black Sharpie pen because that pen writes the best on this type of paper. It's like a semi-gloss. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the sidebar while I give my camera a second to cool down and then I'll be right back with you all. Alrighty, let's do this thing. So Monday morning, I finished my book, All the Truth That's In Me. So I have these finished reading stickers from Moonlight Paper Co. And I'm going to use, what color do I want to use? Um, this color is like closest to the goldish color. Um, I'm tempted to use this light one though. So I'm going to use this to mark that. I was supposed to finish this the day before, but it just didn't happen. And I was going to mark it like I finished it the day before, but it didn't feel right. <laughs> so I finished it in the morning, but I did start it this day, and that's been going amazing. I was worried that it was going to be really slow to start, but it's actually very... Even though it's very descriptive, it's very quick-paced in the sense that there's like a lot going on. Um, so I'm enjoying it. But... For school, let's put in, I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did the last time I used an organizing painting kit and use these meal trackers as school labels. So I'm going to put this one in and for school this week I'm going to use these little paper prints teaching or presentation, Anna's or teaching with a presentation. I was right. I had both things correct. <laughs> um, I'm going to put her like lower. Like that. That works. Um, I guess I can't guess. I guess I'll just take these off. There we go. And then after that I started it. So I like went to one class and then um, after my first class I started it. So I'm going to put in another Moonlight Paper Co. reading sticker. This one just says started reading. And we'll put that in. And then I had quite a few errands to run afterwards, so I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these knockout print shop car stickers. Um, I went to like Joann's and Target and all of the places, so I'm just gonna put that in there. And the only other thing was, ooh. See, this is what I'm not used to and having like all of this space. Um, okay, so let's rewind. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I just got like a really weird notification on my phone. I hope that's correct. Oh my gosh, that just stressed me out. Sorry. <laughs> I like got very zoomed out. I just, I don't even know how to like put this into words. My employer like paid me, but she like, she paid me earlier and like she didn't pay me enough and then I asked her like I like regave her my hours and she was like oh I I'll fix it and then she just paid me again but she paid me a lot of money like way over the amount that I was expecting I'm very stressed about that situation sorry I'll have to figure that out in a second <laughs> You guys, this is just how my life has been going. There's all these weird circumstances that happen, and I just don't know how to deal with them. <laughs> oh my gosh, it'll make so much sense when I explain this week. Her and I both, my employer and I, have had a week. Like, I don't even know what to call this week, except a week. I feel like everyone has had an experience like that at some point in their life. But oh my gosh, if I, I thought that I had that experience at one point, but this was like a whole new level of a week. <laughs> um, okay, so errands, and then I'm going to put in, let's do some of the vine washi, because this is real pretty. 
and we'll put this in and then I'm gonna do a half box for family night which sadly I think it's gonna be one of the last family nights for a while I cried about it on Sunday it's totally fine but like obviously I'm still gonna hang out with my parents but like we have specific people that come over and it's like considered a family night because of the people that are there and I think it's gonna like end because everyone's schedules like changed except mine of course because that's just the way things roll and like everyone's leaving <laughs> they're not leaving it's just schedules change things happen and eventually it'll start happening again but oh, I was so bummed when I figured it out I was really sad I'm not gonna talk about it too long because I'll just get sad again um, but I'm gonna use this family time sticker from a little TLC designs and that was Monday that looks really tame really simple really great <laughs> let's go back to Monday <laughs> Um, okay, so then on Tuesday, it was Starbucks Day. I actually only had Starbucks twice this week, but once during the actual week, which was surprising. That's because one of my classes was canceled, so it was nice that my class was canceled, but it was kind of a bummer that I didn't get Starbucks. <laughs> um, but then I had school, so I'm going to put in another one of these meal labels right here. And then another one of these girls. And what else happened? Oh, and an appointment. So I'm going to put this alarm clock in with, let's do the washi. I'm kind of doing like a washi header thing. I don't know how I feel about it. It's just kind of happening and I'm just letting it happen. Um, so, in you go. There's that. And, oh my gosh, that payment situation is really stressing me out right now. And I don't even know how to fix it. Does anyone else get weird, like, dealing with money? Because that's, like, totally me. Like, if I can avoid money at all costs or discussion about money, like, please, just, just let me, just let me avoid it. <laughs> but, like... Oh, the adult things that I have to do. I don't like being an adult. Is anyone else like that? I feel like if I could avoid talking about money for the rest of my life, I would totally do it. It's one of those, like, evils that I just would just go. I, <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. Anyway, sorry, that was, like, a total tangent. When I got home from my appointment, I walked my doggy. So I have these knockout print shop dog walking stickers which are really cute I've actually only used them twice this is the third time so we'll put this in I walked her before going to work because I had to work extra this week so for work this week I have these labels from Little Miss Papery and we'll use a purple one in here and then all right, guys, sorry, I had to figure that out. It was stressing me out too much, <laughs> but I figured it out, and I'm back. Um, I put in my work label. That's where we were at. And then once I got home, I picked, well, actually, on my way home, I picked up food. We got burgers this night. So I'm going to put in another piece of this bow washi. I know it's very close to this purple one, but it's okay. I like having some semblance of a header I feel like it just makes me feel better so I'm gonna use these lilies from Fox and Cactus um I believe this is like her McDonald's sheet but I never get burgers from McDonald's so I'm gonna use the burger one for this night here and her purple dress matches the spread perfectly so why not use the sticker but that is Tuesday. I'm really liking this setup. I don't know what it is but it makes me feel happy. Um Wednesday um, I had school in the morning, so I put my little school stickers here, and we'll use this one, and flip this this way, and as you can see, I already worked, so on Tuesday, I worked for two hours at night, which I normally don't do, so I feel like that's when I started to get kind of off schedule. I mean, I was already off schedule before this week started, but I feel like that's what really started to throw me off. So then on Wednesday, um, I was trying to like catch up on like YouTube stuff. So I'm gonna use this camera for that. 
I think that'll work like so. And then um, I had work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a work label. Let's do another purple one. And I'm just gonna put this over the dots. And I think I'll do the black like header underneath that. And this day I worked a regular shift, 2.30 to 6.30. It was a true shift. I like worked every bit of those, those hours there. <laughs> um, but at least that was normal. And then I came home and walked my doggy. So I need another dog walking sticker. And where are they? Here they are. Um, I'm gonna do another gray one and put this in there. And then um, we had Mexican food this night. We had, um, I had really yummy sopas. What else have I had? I've had like so much Mexican food recently and I love it. I love Mexican food. I would say it's one of my favorites. I really do like pasta, but I don't like traditional Italian food. And I think it's because like I have a sensitivity to onion and garlic because growing up my mom, well, she still is, but like growing up I never had onion and garlic because I always ate what my mom ate. And so because she never ate onion and garlic, I feel like it's one of those very like powerful things that because I didn't have it, <laughs> I'm like very sensitive to a large quantities of it. So I can't really have true Italian food, even though I love pastas. But I also love like Chinese and Japanese food. Like I love me some fried rice, some sushi, some all all of the great things. <laughs> so um I, I've yet to try dim sum yet, and I have it on my to-do list because I definitely need to try it. But for tortas, I forgot my little emoji sticker, so I'm going to put in one of these. I didn't have tacos this night, but this is the closest thing I've got right now. Um, okay, so that's the first half. Moving on to Thursday. This was the craziest day I've ever had. <laughs> so I didn't have school which was very exciting. Don't get me wrong, I was very pleased that I didn't have school. So I woke up and I filmed, which I'm gonna use this Moonlight Paper Co. film sticker for that. And I spent quite a while doing it, so I'm gonna use a half box. Um, and so everything was going smoothly. I thought that I was gonna be able to catch up on my life, do great things, and um, what else happened? Oh, and then after that, I went out to have sushi, which I was very excited about. I love going to get sushi. It's one of my favorite things. I was just talking about how much I love sushi. I had so much sushi this day. Like, I didn't even know that I was going to be able to go to work. I didn't even know that I was going to be able to walk. That's how much sushi I had. But it was so good. And so, for the sushi, I'm going to use another half box. But I'm going to use this, like, rounded corner one, or squared corner one. I don't know how to say that because it's not like this where it like has corners. They're like concave corners. <laughs> so there's that for sushi. And I have my organizing companion sushi stickers. I've been trying to use these up so that because she's closed so that I can use stickers that you guys can get your hands on if you like them. So I went and did that and then I went to work which I'm going to mark again with a work label. And I was at work and my employer asked me if I could stay until 9, which I said, yeah, sure. I had nothing else planned except like going home and working on the stuff that I needed to work on. Um, but thank God that I stayed. And I don't say that often <laughs> um, because we had like lots of activities to do this day. And the kids and I went out and we came back home and they're dog sitting. They don't have a dog, but I've had a dog or multiple dogs my whole life. And, um, like I, I'm just, I'm so used to having a dog and I like know what to do and what a dog needs. <laughs> so I'd come home and the dog had like peed on the door, which to me, I didn't think it was odd because I don't know this dog, first of all. It's also a small dog. I've never had a small dog, so but I do know that small dogs are usually more anxious and stuff. So when I saw it, I figured, okay, that's... It's not used to the house. 
um, we were gone for a little bit longer than it expected maybe or maybe it just couldn't hold it and it went on the door because it's like towards outside. I don't know, I was trying to like reason as to why there was pee. <laughs> but the dog was really anxious. Like more anxious than, like looking back on it, like hindsight is twenty twenty, but looking back on it, I should have known that there was something wrong as soon as I saw that because it wasn't like regular pee, first of all, and the dog was like acting really strange and it was like jumping in it and it was like scratching us and it was acting very strange. And so because it was doing that, I was the only adult there. I had two small children with me and I was trying to figure out what was going on. I had to put the dog outside so that I could clean the door and the space that it was jumping in because the house that I nanny in doesn't have like a gate or a crate or anything like that to put the dog in or any space like that but they have a gated like little area in the front so I knew that it would be safe to put the dog outside of the door that I had peed on like just for a second so that I clean up the area and then clean up the dog and then clean up the kids because the dog had jumped on the kids so everyone was covered in pee including the floor <laughs> so I was like cleaning it up and the dog was outside for a minute like and I'm not even exaggerating or like decreasing the amount of time or anything like it was seriously a minute I had grabbed a sponge and then put the dog outside cleaned up and then opened the door and the dog was on its back having a seizure and I've never seen a dog have a seizure but I was so positive that the dog was having a seizure and I was so scared and the kids started freaking out and the kids started crying and I didn't know what to do because it's not my dog so well I mean I wouldn't even know what to do if it was my dog, really. It's up take it to the vet, but I didn't know where to take it, and I don't know the history of the dog, and oh my gosh, it was so stressful. So I rushed the dog <laughs> to the animal hospital. Thankfully, it's okay. We still don't know what caused the seizure, but that's the kind of, like, sucky thing about seizures is that, especially in animals, is that they're kind of like, okay, well, if it doesn't happen again, then it was, like, a fluke incident, and, like, the dog's very like not very old but it's older it's not a puppy and it was a rescue and there's already a lot of stuff wrong with the dog so oh my gosh guys it was so stressful it was so scary i thought the dog was gonna die on the doorstep and i had kids with me oh my god it would have been one thing honestly if i was alone like it seriously would have been i think i would have handled it well, no, I handled it good. I'm not going to, like, downplay that I handled this well. Because <laughs> I deserve all of the credit that I can get for what happened. Because it was a scary situation. And I got the dog to the hospital. I got the kids to the hospital. Granted, one of the kids didn't have shoes on. But that's the way we roll when the dog's in crisis. And <laughs> you guys, we were a hot mess. And I was a hot mess. And then... My stuff was still at the house, so it wasn't like I could leave from the hospital because luckily their mom, like, came and met me at the animal hospital. I wasn't there alone with two kids and a seizing dog. But it was so stressful. And then I felt really bad because the dog, once we got home, it was, like, looking for its owner. Like, it didn't want to be comforted by any of us, and it was just walking around looking at all the windows and stuff. And... Ugh, it broke my heart because I mean like I don't know I always think of animals as like little kids and like if you just had a seizure like I know I would want my mom and I'm 21 years old <laughs> I had to think about that for a second but like I'm so positive that I would want my mom so it only makes sense to me that a dog would be, like be looking for its owner some sense of comfort oh it broke my heart <laughs> but I'm so glad that she's okay for the most part. I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of stuff that needs to be done to make sure that it's okay, but like we're not going to do that until the owner's here to make those decisions. But anyways, we got through that, Nate. That was crazy. I highly don't recommend that ever happening to anyone, and I'm s like so glad that it was the way that it went. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to Friday. I already put stickers down. But I went to school, surprisingly. Um, and then, oh, this little uh, music, Munchkin, no, Emoti, is for the 21 Pilots album release of Trench, which if you don't know who 21 Pilots is, definitely check them out because they're one of my favorite bands. I have like two favorite bands, Paramore, and 21 Pilots. 
and they released their new album and I'm going to see them in a month and I'm just so excited um, to hear them live first of all and for their new album and all that stuff. Sorry, I'm like trying to do 12 things at once. What else did I do on Friday? Oh, I went to work. So that was the other thing is that then we were like, okay, great. Like, if the dog has another seizure, we're supposed to, like, monitor it and know what's happening. Because, like, the instructions that we got was, if it has another seizure, but it's less than three minutes, then, like, I guess not, <laughs> I don't know. They made it seem like, don't worry about it, but, like, I would be worried about it. But they were like, you don't have to bring, bring her in. But if you... Like, if a third seizure happens, or if it's longer than three minutes, either time, then bring her in, because there's something seriously wrong. I don't know. I feel like if your dog has a seizure, no matter how many times, I don't know. I was really confused about all that, but we were basically like, we don't want to leave her alone, at least for a long period of time. So I went over there at 12 and hung out with my little seizure patient, and... Um, everything was fine. I went there and, um, I was a little, I wasn't late getting there, but I was late leaving. So I postmated Taco Bell to the location or like to the house because I couldn't leave, but there was like no one there and there was really nothing for me to do other than like watch a dog. So <laughs> I figured I could eat tacos while doing that. Um, so I post made a Taco Bell, which I was real excited about, but like the way that their house is set up and everything that I like, if I answer the door, I usually leave the door open and then go to the gate. Like the configuration makes sense to do that, especially since they don't normally have an animal. But because they have an animal, it was my instinct to close the door like I do at my house because like you don't want the animal to get out. Well, my smart being <laughs> closed the door and locked myself out. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, it was so horrible. So then I was in the predicament of like, okay, great. I'm here supposed to be watching the dog. Now the dog's inside alone and I'm stuck outside with Taco Bell with two hours to go before I have to go pick up the, the kids. But also like none of us have a key and what am I supposed to do? Call and be like, hey, can you come bring me a key? Which defeats the whole purpose of me being there. So I was like, okay, great. Now I have to find a way to get into the house. <laughs> so what did I do? I went downstairs and found an open door or an open window and threw myself in the window. And then I proceeded to get freaked out like, oh my God, what happens if someone thinks that I just broke into this house? Because <laughs> there's like construction going on around where their house is and so I was wearing my Doc Martens and so if someone just saw my feet it would definitely look like a construction worker just jumped through a window <laughs> and so I was so terrified that like the police were gonna get calm and I was gonna get like oh I was I was in a heightened state of anxiety for these two days <laughs> let me just put it at that but anyways I worked six and a half hours on both of these days and it was a lot <laughs> but Come Saturday, I woke up and had a very productive morning. I actually woke up, I woke up really early, actually. Actually, actually, actually. <laughs> um, so yeah, I woke up and was very, very productive. So I have these little, like, um, cramming munchkins, but I'm going to use the one that says, like, go, 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 um, because that was me. I was just doing everything. I was filming, I was doing homework, I was just doing everything <laughs> and so I treated myself to a little bit of Starbucks um, after I got some stuff done and then I like went right back to it but before I got right back to it and after I had my Starbucks I had to make all of the well I had to make one present for the baby shower I was going to the next day but then I had to like wrap everything um, for the present. Oh, hello. So that took like a significant amount of time. So to mark that, I'm gonna use this label cause it looks fun. And then 
I'm gonna put this, this is from Paws Paper, and they're just little presents. So I'm gonna put that in there for working on the present. And then, actually I'm gonna put this down further. And then after all of that, I went to my little town's Oktoberfest, which was super fun. Um, I've gone basically, give or take a year, um, every year since we've lived up here and it's kind of like a tradition and I got to take one of my friends who's never been, which was lots of fun. Beer is ridiculously expensive and it's kind of funny how anyone ever gets drunk at these <laughs> occasions because I'm like, how are you doing it? And I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's definitely ex an experience and like I would say you should definitely do it once, but I just don't understand how people go every... Like, I go every year, but it's not like I go there to drink and, like, get drunk. I don't. I don't do that in general. But, like, you buy tickets to buy beer. Like, that makes sense, right? It's, like, how things work, obviously. Anyways, so, like, it's five tickets to get a beer, which equates to $10 for a beer. And every year, there's, like, a solid six people who get hammered and get arrested. And, like, how do you do that at that price because like that's a lot of money and I don't know how you're doing this because I could like I had one beer and was like I'm not I'm not gonna spend another ten dollars on like it's an experience have one fine do that once a year but like I'm not gonna drink enough to get drunk at that price so yeah that was my experience but it was fun I love Oktoberfest it's the German in me <laughs> So I'm gonna put this little, oh, hello. I'm gonna put this little mug of beer from Little Paper Prints for that. And then moving on to Sunday, I drank some more. <laughs> so I don't understand this, but like the baby shower I went to was at like a wine tasting room, which by the way, I'm, I'm just gonna say, it, I'm not classy enough to know that when like you go somewhere that's essentially a wine tasting room, that it's like a fancy occasion. <laughs> like no one told me no one gave me a dress code so I showed up in dress in dress whoa I showed up in jeans and like a night well at least I was wearing a nice cardigan I'll give myself that I didn't look like a schlump but I definitely didn't look as classy as everyone else did and I got there and I was like mm. <laughs> like I'm obviously not cultured enough to know that I was supposed to wear a dress but luckily I was with my friend and she didn't get it either she didn't get the memo either and so we were all <laughs> we were all good and we were told that we were gonna have to walk like half a mile to the location so we were like we're not we're wearing something sensible and comfy and like figuring this out so we showed up definitely underdressed but like that's fine um i mean use what do i want to use um i'll use the purple stroller and so we showed up very underdressed but it was tons of fun and um I drink wine, and I also don't understand, like, obviously the mother-to-be can't drink wine, so why would you have it at a wine or a, or a wine tasting area in which she can't drink wine? I don't know. I was very confused about it, but she looked beautiful. She was great. I'm glad that she's feeling better after her trip to the emergency room for, like, I found out she was there for, like, three or four days, which, that's a long time. <laughs> um, but the baby's due soon. Actually, from the day that, from the day that she was... Oh my god, words. From the day that of her this shower thing, this day, <laughs> she's like a month away from her due date, which, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to meet the little baby. Um, but yeah, so we did that, and it was like an hour drive away from where we live, which, oh my gosh, <laughs> driving. So we went to a Hook Burger over there, which was lovely. I love Hook Burger. What am I going to use for that? Let's use this, um, hexagon. Oh, and I didn't pull out stickers. That's right. I need to do that. Okay, so we went to Hook Burger, and because my dumb butt <laughs> didn't... Oh, I can use another burger sticker. That's what I'll do. Um, I didn't eat before going because I was under the assumption that there was going to be food, but there was, like, not food. <laughs> 
<laughs> just putting it that way. I mean, it was like wine drinking food, like cheese and little hors d'oeuvres and stuff. But like the, in the email, it made it seem like we were going to eat. So I didn't eat. And then I was like, okay, well, there's free wine. So like, <laughs> I'm not going to pass that up. And I'm not even a wine drinker, but I... I don't drink wine because it never makes me feel good. And then I found out on an empty stomach, that's just exasperated. So it wasn't even like I got buzzed or tipsy and was feeling sick. No, I was just on an empty stomach of stuff that doesn't make me feel good. So we went to Hook Burger and I sadly could not enjoy my burger as I normally do. But... I came home and I took a nap and I was all better. But I think it was also something to do, I think like, cause we were a little bit late. We were just a little bit late. And by a little bit, I mean a decent amount of time. <laughs> but like, <laughs> we were there for about half of it, which is fine. Um, we underestimated the drive a lot. <laughs> and um, so by the time that we got there, we're thinking that maybe the food was out too long because we were the only ones eating. And I was like, ooh, maybe like the food was no bueno. But I don't know. I fell asleep and I woke up and I was perfectly fine. I'm gonna use this I'm so sleepy little paper prints sticker for that. And um, I'm just happy it passed and that it wasn't like a you're out for the count type thing. So I'm gonna put this in on this little header with the bat, cause that's cute. Um, and then down here, I'm gonna put in this TV cause I had like a Netflix YouTube binge, which was tons of fun. Um, and yeah, that was my week. Pretty crazy, I told you, didn't I? <laughs> um, but I think this looks so pretty, so cute. I'm very excited about this. I didn't pull in any foiled stickers. Um, obviously, the Simply Gilded Washi is foiled. Oh my gosh, my planner is so fat. Look, <laughs> like look at the difference. Oh my gosh, okay, let me fix this. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really cute and this is really pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Okay, let me fill everything out with these two pens and then I'll be back to show you guys the finished product and here it is guys I think it looks really cool um, I'm very proud of myself for trying a different style I know it's not totally different but I mean like no bottom washi with the full boxes pushed down and like this kind of bigger space to work with I think it looks very relaxing I don't know what it is but I'm proud of it um, let me show you what I have left of the kit here we have these like functional items left and then we have some check boxes and the headers on that page we have the bottom washi which is new um <laughs> we have these two like extra strips and then some icons we have all of this page the little things and the headers um tons of washi two half boxes and these are headers at the top headers from the full boxes and then this page here of kind of functional items so i think this was a success and i'm very proud for what a crazy week it was. I think it looks very put together. Like just looking at this, if I hadn't told you that story, you probably would have been like, oh, nothing happened. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for the weeks to come. I'm really excited to get caught up. I think that's why my energy is much higher in these videos because I only have one more video to film until I'm all caught up and then it's just editing and uploading. This is my week, guys, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.